my family is a product of something that most people aren't aware of. And you have it. And there are a lot of children who have life-threatening diseases that need it to have another chance at life. And it's the umbilical cord. We need you to donate and be a part of a mission in giving life back to people who are on the verge of losing. My name is Cassandra Collier, and I'm the mother of Jameer, who was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia a month after his 10th birthday. His prognosis was very poor. I had five months to save Jameer's life, period. And if I've never prayed ever in my life, I learned how to pray. We had to find a match but instead of just using just regular blood that someone has donated, it was from the umbilical cord. My name is Brenda Reyes and I work for Health Connect One. The umbilical cord is what connects the baby to the mom. And that cord is what provides the nutrients, what the baby needs to grow. And the cord contains the blood, which is rich in stem cells. And these stem cells are essential for treating different kinds of diseases. It treats about 70 diseases. Some examples are leukemia, sickle cell anemia, lymphoma. When you decide to donate your umbilical cord blood, there is no pain involved for the baby or the mom. And the collection happens after you give birth. So the decision to donate has to be during your pregnancy. Right now, I'm feeding Frederick because he acts a fool when he's hungry. He's smiling. <laughs> Say hi, baby. <laughs> My name is Cassie Wright, and I just had a son named Frederick. He's mommy little fat baby. And yeah, when I found out that I was pregnant, I was in the hospital, and it just so happened that a representative of Core Blood came up to me and asked me that I wanted to know more about it, and I told her, yeah. So once I found out more about Core Blood and what it actually was for, that's when I decided that I wanted to donate the core blood, and it was free. <laughs> and everything was free, them storing it, everything was completely free. It was very easy. It didn't hurt at all because they didn't have to do anything to us. It's nothing painful about it at all. It's not nothing that they going to have to cut your baby or anything like this. If I didn't donate the core blood, they just throw it away in the garbage because they have no use for it. Me knowing that I donated, it felt good to me. Because I know there's so many kids that have leukemia and sickle cell, and I done seen a lot of little kids that look just so sick, especially little small babies, so sick from leukemia and just look so helpless. And I'm like, this could really help someone. This could really save somebody's life. And so that was the reason why. I really wanted to do it. My name is Denise Delts, and I'm the director of the Perinatal and Pediatric Services here at Mercy Hospital. Cord blood is super special blood at a super special time. The process of donating your cord blood is, well, first of all, you read about it, and you decide that's what you want to do, and you ask for more information. Then they will send you a, a kit, a little cardboard box will arrive with all the collection things that are needed at the time you are admitted to the hospital. Once you receive the kit in the mail, you want to make sure that you fill out the history form, that you fill out the consent form. It's very important 
that gets done beforehand. So you get the kit, you throw it in the suitcase along with everything else and bring it to the hospital. As soon as you come to the hospital, you need to tell them, I'm gonna donate cord blood. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, my name is Jeanette Avila. Say hi. This is my baby Axel. I was, I believe, five months pregnant when I decided to donate Axel's cord blood. I found out about the cord blood uh, donation through my doctor. She just told me that it was a very easy process, no needles, no pain, nothing to worry about, that it was a very safe procedure to do. It's free. Uh, I was told that it was going to help some uh, ill patients, possibly those with leukemia and other diseases. It gave me a good feeling because I thought about my baby. And I thought, if what if my baby was sick or needed something? I would want somebody to help me and my baby uh, live a normal life. And I thought of other babies that might not have that opportunity if I just decided not to donate it. So it felt good. My mother is from Mexico. She is a very traditional Mexican lady. So I guess it was hard for her to understand why would I want to donate something that was part of me and my body and my child, I guess. So I told her that I was going to make a difference. My cousin has leukemia. So I think that did it for her to bring somebody that is close to us and make it more personal. And I'm going to tell him that something that was part of mommy and him actually was donated to help somebody that was ill. I think I'm going to make a difference in his way of thought as far as encouraging him to give back. I think we're all in this world to give back and, and help somebody because who knows? Today I'm healthy. Tomorrow, I don't know, I might not be healthy. I think it's cool to be able to tell your kid, that, hey, the first thing you did in life was donate something. You know, you, you started giving back to the world the minute you were born. Show that you can dance. You love dancing. Come on, babe. Come on. Bravo. I have a son who was diagnosed at 10. He's 14 now, who is a living witness that an umbilical cord gives life. It's not garbage. <laughs> I would take that garbage any day because that garbage rescued me. That garbage not only gave my son life, that umbilical cord gave my family life. And all I could say was thank you to the donor. You gave my son life. So what I'm asking you all to do is just make the call, get the kit, ask the doctor. Just call and ask, inquire about donating and just be a source of life for children who, whose lives are threatened. To donate your baby's cord blood or for more information, go to www.givecord.org. That's www.givecord.org. Or call 1-800-627-7692. Thank you again and God bless.